Today, Trump left Israel and headed for Rome, the third stop on his trip. You can tell Trump's tired because when his staff told him the next stop was Rome, he said, please tell me that Scooby-Doo talk for home. <laughs> Former CIA director John Brennan testified today that there was contact between President Trump's campaign and Russian officials. However, still no contact between Donald and Melania. Here it comes. Take a look and grab. No, thank you. Well, the, the president was praying to you at the Western Wall in Jerusalem yesterday. Can you tell us what he prayed for? Oh, sorry, Stephen. Unlike some people, I don't give away top secret information from Israel. Oh, okay. Not this guy. Okay, that's good. That's good. 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 Still, Lord, you're getting a lot of attention this week. It must feel pretty special. Oh, not at all, Stephen. Uh, this whole thing's just a distraction from the Russia scandal. I mean, Trump even asked me if I could get James Comey to stop the FBI investigation. Vlad, remember how you and I were coming up with business ideas? Yes. I got one for you, Vladimir. What? Your own beer, Vladimir, from Russia <laughs> with dust. That's the tagline. Right, right, cool. Good idea. You mean that? No, I've got to go. Okay, bye, Vlad. Bye, Nixon. He said he's more looking forward to the food. He, he even released a video to show off his knowledge about pasta. Take a look at this. This is Donald J. Trump. I know so much about Italy, more than anyone, and I've eaten all types of their pasta. For instance, I've had Ganache, Bachelorette, Turtle Martini, Papa John's Deli, Beanie, and my personal favorite, Macarena. According to Politico, President Trump is reportedly looking to hire a crisis manager. A manager? It's a presidency, not a Walgreens. <laughs> Mr. President, what do you have to say about these new Russia allegations? I'm sorry, I just work here. You'll have to talk to my manager.